Hey, what's up guys? I'm DJ Alex Brown and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most anticipated and welcome features of BeatSource Link, and that is offline tracks. BeatSource actually announced yesterday that offline tracks are now available within Serato DJ, and I just wanna do a quick tutorial of how simple and easy it is to use offline tracks within Serato DJ. BeatSource doesn't actually seem to have a guide out for it yet, and if you read the record box guide, it does not apply to Serato, and I had to figure that out the hard way. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy. This is gonna be a very short video. Um, if you wanna see more of my videos on BeatSource Link, I'll be recommending them in cards right up over here. So make sure to check those out. I'll also leave some links to them in the description of the video. So without further ado, let's take a look at Serato and talk about some of the things that you need to be able to use offline tracks. Some of the key things that you're gonna need to start off with are the latest version of Serato you are going to need to update. So when you open up the latest version of Serato, you're gonna be prompted to log into Serato again. And then you can come into your beat source if you already have it active, then you can uh, come right into here. If you don't, you would just go to settings, you would go to library and display, show streaming services, and click beat source. And then uh, just it'll prompt you to log in. Uh, if it doesn't prompt you to log in, then when you come back over here and open up your beat source playlist, then it will ask you to log in. A little pop up will come up. So once you're logged into beat source, um, you'll obviously see your playlist, so I just imported a couple of um, basic playlists here that are pre-made by BeatSource, which is a really nice thing that they do. Um, and what I'm going to do is to load up my BeatSource locker of offline tracks. I'm simply just going to click them and drag them in. It's super easy, just the same way that you would do it if you were organizing music into a crate. You just drag it in. And I'm gonna show you another one just so I can show you how you know when it's downloaded. So I'm dragging it in and see this little arrow. Watch closely when I do this one, you'll see that the arrow starts out with just an outline and then once it's downloaded, it's all white. So stick right here for a second. And see it's all white now. So if you come into your BeatSource locker, you can see that you have these tracks in here now. Um, I'm actually gonna turn my Wi-Fi off and you see that the streaming server could not be reached, but um, if I go in and try and play any of these, it's gonna say, nope, you can't, but if I go in to do anything that I've downloaded already, then you can see that I can actually play it. So I can load this up. And um, what's interesting is that it also stays in your playlist. So if you offline an entire playlist, then it will stay on that playlist as well as you'll be able to find it in your BeatSource locker. Um, what's also nice is that you can delete things directly from the BeatSource locker uh, the same way that you would delete something from a crate. So command delete and you can do that on all of them. There is unfortunately no way to offload from a playlist. Uh, you have to do it from the offline locker, but still it does work very much like Serato typically does. So you do have that as a bonus. So one thing that I would really like to see BeatSource implement, um, and you know, it is kind of early for this because they just released this in Serato, but if you could just take an entire playlist and drag it into the BeatSource locker and it just automatically does the whole thing, that would be great. Um, of course, if I turn my Wi-Fi back on, then select everything, I can of course drag it into the locker and you'll see that they'll all download one at a time. But I do wish you could just take the entire thing and boop right into the BeatSource locker. So that is a quick tutorial on how to use the BeatSource locker within Serato. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we're just gonna wrap the video up now. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please leave me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful. Also, if you found this helpful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other content. Also, if you're gonna subscribe, hit that notification bell too. That's gonna to wrap this video up. Again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.